Hello and welcome to my gaming channel. Uh, gaming channel. Gaming camel. My gaming channel, C Gaming. Um, it's not really big. I just have a few videos with some um, bullshit on there, and um, I would appreciate it if you check them out. But um, anyway, I'm going to talk to you about my uh, one of my favorite games, Far Cry 5. Um, I'm just going to be playing it right now. Um, as I am explaining to you the um, introduction. So last night I just stayed up really late um, replaying the beginning of the game and um, so you're uh, like what is your character exactly? Some kind of a authority uh, named Rook and you, I think you're like a U.S. Marshal or something like that, I can't remember. And you go in with the sheriff and you have to stop like a deadly cult. Uh, and I'm just going to be showing you that video and um, explaining to you um, why I like the game so much. Um, it's kind of old, it came out in 2018. Uh, it's based off of like um, anything extreme, like extremism, extremists, and uh, the creator of the game thought one way to show like one faction versus the other would be uh, to have a cult in some remote area like uh, Idaho or Montana, and um, they made the game in Montana, and it actually was uh, promoted. Uh, through uh, Montana's tourism board or whatever you will. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, I'm playing it now, it just loaded. Uh, I'm gonna show you the footage and just try and tune in and check it out. Like, it's pretty cool. I mean, if it's not your thing, I understand. Um, and then I'll be uh, having some more videos on uh, Far Cry 5 as well. So basically, you take down uh, Joseph Seed, um, and he's kind of like a David Koresh, based on that kind of uh, leader of uh, a band of, uh, like not a band, like an army of cult members, and they're kind of quasi-religious, uh, like in this game you can get in cars and throw play the radio station that has all the... Uh, Christian style like hymns and it's not a slam on Christianity but it's uh, kind of like some cults they do borrow from different sources and this one is inspired by that kind of like gospel except this guy twisted it around and um, what's interesting about the game is that it involves uh, a thing called the collapse and there is a kind of um, instability that is hinted at in the game there's like a you know a worldwide uh, crisis of some sort and that enables a cult to establish its power and then um, there's family members in the cult too so the main figure is Joseph Seed and he's like like I said kind of like a, a David Koresh type character of course the real Koresh was like really wicked and cruel and, and uh, gross and evil uh, just to basically, well, I don't need to get, get into that. I mean, you can look it up uh, on Wikipedia. There's a lot of nasty shit about Koresh. But um, Joseph Seed is kind of like a glorified uh, cult uh, member um, who's the head of it. Oh, shoot. I gotta kill some cult cultists right now as I'm speaking. Oh, that was fun. I almost want to record this, but I'm not. Uh, and yeah, and then there's the, the sister of, uh, of um, Joseph Seed, who is uh, Faith Seed, and she's like this girl who basically eats a bunch of uh, psychedelic flowers and, and like poisons you and stuff. And like, I don't know if you've ever tried any, um, any flowers, but flowers, they tend to be not like the best in the in the psychedelic scale they have like adverse effects and so yeah like 
you end up you can end up getting brainwashed and like the cult tries to drug you and then like kidnap you that's all faith seeds department so she's kind of like she kind of reminds me of um, the pop culture representations of the Manson family obviously not the not the real Manson family like a little bit based on the real but also all, all these crappy assholes are glorified so the video game is obviously like the video game is fun but the real life is not you know but um and then there's another character character called Jacob Seed and he has a bunch of uh, wolves and um, you know they, they respond to like uh, like kind of like modified cell towers and so the wolves are under the command of this guy Jacob he has the big red beard and the, I guess he was in the uh, army or whatever whatever uh, branch and he uh, is like the militant one and he's up in the mountains so one by one the object of the game is to take out the heads of the cult which is Joseph Seed like I said uh, based on kind of like a Koresh like type creep um, there's Faith Seed who's kind of like a Manson chick and then there's Jacob who's kind of like his own guy up in the mountains he has wolves <laughs> he wears camo I don't know what else about him <laughs> so you take out those figures and then you come to the conclusion of the game which uh, uh, I don't want to ruin it for you, but it, it sets the tone of the whole series. And um, so basically, uh, in summary, Far Cry 5, once you make it to the end, and a little bit of a spoiler, kind of not really, you know, you can ignore me if you want, it gets a little dark. And uh, But that's kind of like what I like about the game. Because like I said, this game involves something called the Collapse, and it's why there's these like rebels who are banding together, uh, against the cultists because the cultists are trying to capitalize on a do an idea of a doomsday and then uh, you as the resistance in Montana you gotta take down the cult like like I said it's an old game but I'm playing it again uh, so I'm just gonna um, play for you the um, the beginning of the game if you can check it out please I'm gonna have more on Far Cry 5 if not just check out a few of my other videos I'm basically talking over them like a dork I'm not in them in a video like this but like I, I am speaking over uh, almost all of them um, and yeah it's a game that it was advertised as a kind of like the artwork made it look like kind of a Trump country kind of thing now there is some Montana and some Hicks who tell jokes and it's kind of stupid like you know there's even some like racism in the game like that's not funny but like it's supposed to be deliberately racist so it's funny but I'm like that's offensive but like it's not like, it's just kind of stupid, you know? But the advertisers made the game look like it was um, like a critique of Donald Trump and like a uh, religious right. No, this game is, uh, the cult in the video game is definitely left. I couldn't help but notice how like they have psychedelic flowers that, you know, hallucinogenic um, you know kind of substances that they, they drug people with and try to make them into zombies that's they're pretty liberal kind of like how the the Manson family was but they have um, guns and they do say yeah they're trying to take our guns away so the characters might say a few things that are are, are more on the um, on the conservative side but they don't really mean them the way the characters are in this game they're like liberal wackos basically um, not that it matters, liberal, conservative, those are just words to me, I mean, but um, I like the game a lot, and so basically, it was marketed very well. <laughs> I kind of I kind of wish it had more depth, like that you can do more with the characters and whatnot, like you can talk to people in the town, because they made it look really epic, and they, they made a book out of it, but other than that, um, yeah, I would... Uh, definitely recommend so here is the video and um it's very dramatic uh so i hope you enjoy it uh it's quarantine so i'm hoping to make my channel like more cool but if i failed i'll survive another day all right thank you good night good good day whatever just stay safe
thank you for making it to the end of my video. Um, I forgot to mention John Seed. He's another one of the uh, the heads of the cult that you got to take out. One of the capos. Um, I don't like John Seed. <laughs> He's scary. Like man, like something about his like. If you if you check out like Google images, John Seed or John Seed Far Cry Five. His like blue eyes and big smile like but he has like a beard so he looks all vicious there was this guy in in uh when i was going to school and he was one of the um one of the kind of like a, a teacher uh in a certain capacity and yeah he looked like john seed <laughs> and that mess basically seed is one of the characters who who is like the media personality he's like the tv preacher but he also like tortures people too. So he's just kind of a jerk. Uh, when I play, I'm gonna play in John's territory, take out John first, then I'm gonna take out Faith Seed, then I'm gonna take out Jacob, go in that order. And then in the end, you, uh, you do your best to stop Joseph Seed. Um, so thank you for making that, thank you for, um, Thank you for making it that far, or just skipping it to the end. And um, yeah, uh, I'm going to have more on Far Cry 5, so check them out. If you think this looks like a game for you, like buy it. It's cheap now. Uh, it is beyond being on sale, I'm sure. Um, Ta-da!